In this repair video, we're going to be working on an Asus laptop that came in for no power. The customer did not fill out a ticket, but I did find a phone number on the laptop. So we're going to have to call the customer and get his information. Let me check the model number on this laptop so we know which one we are working on. Actually, this one is not ASUS, it's MSI. All right, it's an MSI. MS-17F4. That's the model number of the laptop. And right off the bat, right off the bat, I see some work that was done here. So we know that there was a prior repair attempt. We see work that was done here. Laptop came in for no power. Whoever worked on it attempted the repair and it didn't work out. I hate working on boards like this because I do not know what's going on. I do not know where to start, what was tempered with, what was changed. What's this? Did we have a component here? Did we not have a component here? I do not know. I do not know. Meter in diode mode and if we measure here. The multimeter is off. We're not going to hear anything. Now it's on. And we do have a short here. We do have a short here. We see a burn mark here. I mean, looking at the board with my naked eye, I do not see signs of flux anywhere else on the board. Nothing. So I'm going to assume the person who worked on it, they worked on this area only, the area that's right below the power connector. So right now we did measure a short on one of the MOSFETs. And what we're going to do is inject one volt onto the shorted area of the MOSFET and monitor the board under a thermal cam. We want to see what gets hot. Turn on our thermal camera. All right, so let's see. I injected one volt and right there, right there, right there, right here. Let me show you what I did. I injected voltage at the shorted area of the MOSFET, which is right over here. And we found a heat spot right over here. We injected here and we found the heat spot here. Let's take a look at this area and see what's going on. Right now we have two big caps here. It could be any one of those two caps. We can use our hot tweezers to remove cap number one. If that's not the one, then we put it back and remove cap number two. If both of them are not causing the short, then it's likely the IC here or even this or this cap. But right now I believe it's one of those two caps. And we still have a 6 amp short, so it's possible that this cap is what's causing the short, or it could be the chip itself. And we still have a 6 amp short. Great. The problem is most likely the chip, because we still have a short. And do we still have a short? Let's see. Do we still have a short? And the short is gone. We no longer have a short. The problem is the chip. So we're gonna replace those two caps that we removed, probably 10 microfarads each. And we're gonna have to replace that chip. And I do not know what that chip is. AKUM195. I do not know what that is. I need to look it up. But that's our problem. Right now, if we measure the MOSFET, we should no longer have a short, and our thermal cam should not show any more heat in this spot. Meter in diode mode, and let's see. If we measure that MOSFET, 
right here, you see, we have a voltage drop of 0 0.3 and that's perfect. We no longer have a short, but we need to replace that chip. AKUM195. Right now, I'm not able to locate the 195 chip. I was able to find the 196 N10 NS chip and it's an N-channel MOSFET. I do not know if the same holds true for the AKUM195. If you know what that chip is, leave it down in the comments. We're not going to be able to fully fix that board right now if we do not solder that chip back. But for now, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.